so hi guys and in the last tutorial or the last part of the tutorial we had already you know made an IP address and turn the status on for the serial port fast internet port and also on this computer we have already set an IP address of this so today's video as I said last time so in case you did not watch all the previous video or the previous parts make sure to watch it on the be the beginning if you don't want to miss uh, to miss everything so we will be doing a static routing or a IP route so what is an IP route well basically IP route for example I have to send packets data from this router into this PC as you can see right there the connection is failed the status and and because we did we did not connected this router into this router with a wire I mean with the ports right here we we did not I mean like that we did not connected at uh, that directly so that we did not we did not um, made a uh, connection with that so to connect that uh, as you can see it will pass right here into right here and then right here to have a connection so you must have a static routing so all you have to do is go to the config tab and then static routes and go in the network so um as I as I said um, network address and IP address labeling is very important so as you can see network and you can use the network address so that is basically it so use the network address so for example I have to click this router right here in order to connect um, this router to this computer so you must have this network address right so just use this network address in this IP route thing so use the network address oh uh oh and you select routing static to uh, to go on the static routes and then 192.168.1.0 and then the subnet mask or the mask 2255.255 oh 5.255.0 so for the next hop as I selected this router right here as you can see that is a serial port so we have to connect this computer to this router to have a connection select this uh, sorry for that select this IP address as your next hop because it is the the corresponding next stop so just select that type that thing right there 192.168.168.2.2 so uh, as you can say that is the same and this is the same so there's no problem for that and then just click add and do the same thing with this router click this and then go to the config tab routing static and then do the same thing last time 192.168.0.0 oh, for the network address and then the subnet mask the same subnet, subnet mask 55 the zero and then the next hop is 192.168.2.1 so as you can see guys next hop is right there because we selected this router so we must use this next hop and then the network is address is here so just really click add 
so as you can see in the state of routing and can we test that yes we can test that oh I'm very excited with this one and BAM we had a successful connection you you must be pretty happy right now as you can see that is a successful connection as we try to this router one into this PZ0 that is successful and also in this PC0 and PC1 that must be successful so uh, in case you're wondering of adding one more computer I mean two more computers so one for this one computer for this part one computer for this switch so let me add one computer and then one computer for this and just you know select the copper straight through cable select the first fast ethernet port as well as in the switch use the copper straight through cable I had a really hard time pronouncing Cooper straight through cable and then select that and that's basically it oh well that's not basically it. so select configure so set an IP address for this computer don't forget to set a IP address of any computer so just select that desktop IP configuration and then 192 you can have anything but make sure that this IP address is not the same as uh, or does not exist on this topology so I used 192.168.0.2 so I I will use um, 192.168.0.2 hopefully you can see the pattern 0 0.2 and then 0 0.3 and then the subnet pass will generate it and then the default gateway is that fast ethernet port or interface so use that 192.168.0.1 because we have selected this computer it will pass all the way here and you must use this as your default gateway because this wires copper straight through cable will pass on the fast ethernet port and then use this IP address and just close that as well as on the second computer just go in the desktop to, co to, I to configure the IP and then click IP configuration and do the IP address so the IP address is um, you can have your own IP address and I have to say that 192.168.1.3 and then the subnet mask and then the default gateway is 192.168.2. I I'm I'm sorry for that 1.1 1 .1, so as you can see right here the uh, the IP address is 1.2 and that must be 1.3 so we must have labeled that um, before doing this but uh, we already so the, the the default gateway must be this fast Ethernet interface right here so close that and try to send data packets on each computer so you can have clear that thing and now send packets data and as you can see it's successful and also this one successful every connection is successful so you can see every connection is successful and you can ping it by going to this computer clicking that one you can ping this computer using the IP address so just go to the command prompt and just type ping oh that's ping 
192.168.1.2 and uh, as you can see right there if you want to ping this computer use the IP address so enter and if you get a reply and um, you have no 0% of loss and you are receive for re uh, send for receive for is zero loss that is a successful connection but you encounter a 100% loss that is a unsuccessful or fail connection and if you uh, if you're facing a request timeout that is also a failed connection so I think that's all for this um, series of video tutorial of how to make a network topology without even using a single command on the command line interface or the CLI so guys thank you for watching and um, you can just support me by subscribing to my channel and also um, why why would you subscribe to my channel well you you can have so many kinds of benefits well one of them is I am making a very useful content in the YouTube community so don't miss and subscribe to my channel at to my channel and you can have any video that you want I mean not any so I think that's all for this tutorial so I will be making a programming tutorial so in case you are interested with that you can have find that on my channel and um, thanks for watching see you on my next video